Got our truck back. Tom said, come look at the new motor. Well, we're going for a drive in the truck again. We are uh, heading out to go look for tires. Tire hunting. Yeah, we figure while we're here in Reno before we get back on the road again, um, we will go look for tires. Um, this is your subject. Well, it's like I want tires, and then tomorrow I don't want tires, and then the next day I want to get tires. I've made up my mind, we're going to go buy tires. Yes, it's important. It's a part of our home. So just like anybody does maintenance and upgrades for their home, we need to do that for both the truck and the trailer, for both Ito and Taylo, and get them new shoes. Reno can't see anything. It's awful. There's downtown. Can barely see the buildings. It's been worse. Yeah, it has been worse. It's actually been worse. Last night we went out, I was grilling, and couldn't even see the sun anymore. It was totally covered. And there's ash on the cars when you wake up in the morning. Yeah, but we don't even have any fires close to us. This is just all coming in from all the California fires. So, can't imagine what it's like there. It's gotta be horrible. Well, I can't imagine. We've had it bad when we had the fire that was right near us. Ugly, yucky. Needs to rain and snow. We just got tires at Costco. They're not on the truck yet, but we did purchase them. And um, when are you coming back? Whenever they call me and say they're here. Oh, gotcha. He ordered probably, them. Probably a week. Special ordered them for the truck. I have Costco tires already on the truck. And you know what? I was going to go to several different tire places, but I really wanted to get them at Costco. I just trust Costco and I like their warranty on the tires. Just no stop here. So. Yeah. And traveling around there's usually a Costco in the area so I think you're gonna go right okay. there's generally a Costco in the area where we travel anyway and so if we have an yeah. issue with the tires we can go right there to them so we did that and then of course we had to get the traditional rotisserie chicken well, because they're we so to, yummy and they're only five bucks Costco chicken and Costco. hopefully it's cooked yes yeah, we haven't seen that video before. One time we got, actually a couple times, we yeah. got raw chickens, you can go left. Um, we got raw Costco chickens, a couple times, but they made it right. So yeah. I think we ended up getting an extra chicken out of the whole deal. Put that video so. of the raw chicken down in the comments. You can go look at it down there, actually in the video description. Right, there you go. We'll try, we'll try and find it. <laughs> But it feels good to know that we'll have it safe feels tires great. on this Knowing truck. I'm gonna have new tires on this truck, it's been six years. I said five years earlier, but the tires are six years old as of October. So yep. in another couple of weeks. And there's still tread left on them, but I feel they've aged out as far as pulling the trailer and the hot and the cold that we've been in good deal just to go get it got the truck fixed get new boots on her everything's going to be great yes 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 Yeah, they're big cleaned out. They cleaned out. 
clean now. <laughs> yeah, so no cleaners there, so we'll just go to a different one. We'll go to the one that uh, my son-in-law Scott goes to. It's right by his office. So we'll go there, um, and we're going to look for a tire place for Taylo for the trailer, and a couple other little things while we're out. We left Bear at home today with Kaylee. It's not too hot today, so they should be just fine. That's it. Woohoo! Exciting stuff. Aren't you glad you're coming along? Well, we're home. We didn't have a whole lot of luck with some things. <laughs> we just went to the post office and mailed stuff, so that was good. We went to the cleaners and dropped off the Tom's jacket, so that was good. And we stopped by the tire place, and Tom just needs to order them. That was good. That was good. But we went to Goodwill looking for jeans for Tom, which are most of the time a strikeout because men just don't donate jeans. No, we wear them out. That's right. And then we tried to go to lunch, and there were too many people waiting, so we said, forget it. And we they're, thought, they're waiting outside. There's a line. I'm like, I'm not waiting in line. I'm not that hungry. He is now. <laughs> um, and then we thought, well, we'll stop somewhere else. Well, driving down the road, everything we saw was on the other side of the street. And we were driving the Dooley's, so it was like, no. okay, it's not that easy to get in and out of places. So Little bitty parking So lots. forget that. Then we stopped at a sporting goods store looking for some pew pews ammunitions and nobody, struck out there. Nobody's got 38 special or 357. No. So we struck out there. Oh well. And he says, Well, what do you want to do? I said, let's just go home. <laughs> so we came home, which Bear was very happy about. Here we are. So now I need to make lunch. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see you guys later. See ya. <laughs> Kaylee's so excited we're home. Aren't you, Kaylee? Kaylee, do you care? Doesn't look like she cares. Oop, let's move this out. There we go. Well, tail Ito, Ito got new boots on. Got new tires all the way around Yesterday. on our truck. Yay, so today we're going for the 25 to 50 mile torque check. Torque check, I gotta go make sure my nuts are screwed on just right. <laughs> Y'all can't see my eyes, can you? <laughs> um, and then we're going to dinner over at Jolene's. One of the last times, because our time here is getting short and their time is very busy now that school has started. Um, they're actually going on a vacation, but now that school has started. yeah, now the school has started. <laughs> However, they can distance do their distance learning, so that's really good. Um, so anyway, that's kind of it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were at Costco yesterday. We grabbed um, a four pack of these nice little totes that fit perfectly underneath our um, retracts retracts cover on our truck bed, and we keep. Um, oil and we've got a um, bottle jack that we keep that we needed to keep in it. It was in its original box but water gets down in the truck bed and the box was just all thrashed and we didn't want the bottle jack getting all rusty and stuff so these little containers work perfectly underneath that area. We'll show them to you right now. There you go those work good. It was a beautiful day today. We actually got uh, stuff put back in the truck after taking it out from being at the mechanics and there was no smoke. Yeah, beautiful. It wasn't very hot. We did some cleaning in the basement, um, getting things organized to get ready to go and put other stuff back in the basement that's been in the house while we've been here. So just all the little preparations of getting back on the road after being set for a few months. Which it's actually been kind of nice. We've gotten to be with family a lot and that's been great. And that helps out a lot when we're gone for months at a time and don't get to see them. But we actually get to see them and spend more time with them than we did when we were living in 
our Sticks and Bricks and Tom had a regular radio job at a radio station. Because it was always in a different town. Always in a different town. It could never travel on the holidays. Always had some kind of radio events going on. Um, we lived in faraway towns. So it was nice being here. Yes, it's been great. Do you know what we're having for dinner tonight? No, I don't. Hope Do it's something good. We're going to Jolene's. It's gonna be good. It's gotta be good. Yes, my daughter is an excellent cook and baker. Here we go. Here we go. What happened? It's dark. Oh, that's right. This thing turns off. No, it doesn't. It yeah, it does. It goes to sleep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the screen goes to sleep. Still learning this new GoPro. So let's show you what we did here with our containers. That's the case that the retract rolls back into. So there's the containers. Oil. That's our big bottleneck jack. And that's oil for the generator. We got them all underneath here, all nice and neat. And it kind of keeps the inside of the truck bed halfway decent. And this is a uh, tool kit. Keep it nice and dry in a couple bags. But those are the containers that we got. Pretty good containers. Fit perfectly underneath this thing. And what I mean by this thing, when we bought the truck, it came with a Retrax bed cover, which we love to death. We had some trouble with it recently. It seems to stick, and I didn't know how to fix it. I actually found a Retrax dealer here in Reno. And went to the Retrax dealer, told him the problem I was having with this thing. He said, let me take it in the shop and look at it. And he did. He came back out and he said, I know you've got a bed liner in there. Can I put some oil on this thing? And it's going to drip down on your bed liner. I said, just do whatever you need to do. So with the ball bearings inside, how this thing rolls up, he actually oiled. <laughs> I was surprised because everything I researched about this said, don't do that. But he oiled it and then he told me what he did. And he said, all you got to do is oil it. Don't pay attention to what it tells you to do. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Because I didn't want to have to buy a new one because they're almost $2,000. So he oiled it, and now it smoothly goes in and out, no problem at all. So we love our Retrax bed cover on our truck bed. It's incredible. There you go. Just wanted to let you know. Mm -hmm.